is just wonderful. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another whiskey review for you guys and this is the last one from the word virtual whiskey tasting that I was part of a month or two ago. Um, this one is uh, was my favorite of the evening um, and it is also uh, the most uh, you know special one uh, that we had that day. Um, it looked like uh, this don't know if you can see what that says but what this says is I have my notes here just so you know uh, Sirius is what it's called and it's a blended malt um, it is a company called North Star Spirits that has bottled this and um, in 88 this whiskey was distilled and it was bottled in 2019 so 31 years old 31 years in a cask amazing absolutely amazing uh, remember it's a blended malt it's not a blended whiskey it's a blended malt there's a big difference there um, and it had has aged for 31 years in first filled bourbon casks so quite amazing there's only three three thousand five hundred eighty two bottles made um, it costs around twelve hundred Danish crowns for 70 centiliters that is 120 pounds maybe 135 or 140 euros dollars give or take a little bit um, it is 43.1 percent alcohol so still okay ABV uh, for a whiskey that old because all the whiskeys tend to have lower uh, ABV because uh, just because of the time that it's in the casks. Uh, so you did hear it, 31 old years whiskey. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Of course it's not chill filter and of course it's not artificially colored. Look at the color. Mm, dark, golden, almost amber, amber color, yeah. And the leg is uh, heavy, medium to heavy. No, heavy, Defi definitely a lot of leg on this. There's so much flavor here. There's so much depth and complexity. There's so many nuances. It's just absolutely wonderful. Oh, by the way, I don't know. I don't know the distillery. It's but it's a Highland malt. It's a Highland. It's from the Highland of Scotland. So mm. First thing I'm getting is uh, sweet honey, um, some toffee, some caramel. There's definitely uh, bourbon influence. There's also oak and um, some kind of vanilla from, from that American white oak. It doesn't say anywhere that it's American white oak, but if it's a bourbon, then it's then it definitely is because uh, for it to be called bourbon, it has to be aged in American white oak for at least I think it was three years. So you know it's American white oak when it's an ex bourbon cask, and it's first filled, and you can definitely smell that. There's so much flavor here. There's actually a little bit of that um, heavy fat sweetness from the corn uh, that some bourbon has a lot of. There's a little uh, a little hint of that. There's something in my brain that associates this uh, smell with uh, some sweet rums. 
and the reason for this is uh, a lot of rum is aged in ex bourbon casks too so some of those uh, flavors uh, translates into this whiskey as well there's no sharpness here but there is actually some um, some some multi uh, feel to it and of course there would be it's a blended malt but there would only be the reason for it to only be little is because 31 years in a in a wooden cask uh, it's those flavors is going to be dominant over what what the spirits is actually made of yeah it's, it smells so good and all these sweet sweet flavors vanilla honey uh both from the bourbon uh, but also from the american white oak uh combining with a little bit of uh bitterness a little bit of uh maltiness and a little bit of that um uh corn heavy sweet corn it's just wonderful let's go So the palate at first um, it was actually quite sharp on the tongue. I don't know. Maybe sometimes when you, whatever you have for lunch or whatever, influences that. Of course, even though it's hours ago. Uh, right now it's almost four o'clock p.m. So there's so many things here. Um, and it's the oldest whiskey that I have ever tasted, definitely. Um, I think before that it was a 20-year-old. 20 21-year-old was the oldest. And only 1200 is quite cheap. Of course, this is probably because, one, you don't know the, um, the distillery. Two, it's a blended mold. It's not a single mold. And those two things probably take it down a little bit. So the palate has a little bit of malt, it has a little bit of oak, but it's oily, and there's honey sweetness, there's vanilla, and um, I'm actually not getting any of that corn at the flavor. But it's still there at the nose. Um, the finish is a lot of honey sweetness, a lot of vanilla. Um, very oily and mouth-watering. It's, um, it's almost there's like there's some, some kind of spice here, a little bit of, um, pepper, pepper, black pepper at the finish, right at the end, and it's quite long finish. The nose is as an explosion of aromas. The the palate and the and the finish is um, uh, a lot more soft and delicate. It's not weak. That's what not what I'm saying. It's just it's just more delicate and gentle. I hope you know what I mean. really really very very good um, the serious 21 year old um, I'm gonna be putting it at a 9 because it's really very very good uh, I have tasted better whiskeys but the, it's very very good at 1200 if you have the money buy two one for drinking and one for saving um, 
wonderful, wonderful whiskey. A 9 from me out of 10. So uh, that's it for the video today, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. Also, leave a comment down below if you want to. I will respond to all of them. And please subscribe and make sure to hit that notification button just to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. Also, check out my Instagram account. And if you like what you see there and you feel like it, just give me a follow there as well. That would really, really be appreciated. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong out there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.